What's going on guys, the Inhuman Beat Down, I'm back with more Transformers War for Cybertron Decepticons. So, first off, let me go ahead and say, uh, I currently now have, uh, all of the bonus Decepticons. So we have Barricade, we have Motormaster, we have Cyclonus, which there's, there seems something very, like, blasphemy about having a Generation 1 Cyclonus with Megatron around. I don't know, there's weird... Uh, Breakdown, unfortunately with a different voice actor. He doesn't have... I think he was voiced by Steve Bloom in the console game. And also Shockwave. Who I think is still Steve Bloom, actually. A wise decision. Yeah, that's Steve Bloom. <laughs> actually, I guess just a, just a taste of their voices. So, Barricade. I'm the best Decepticon for the job. That voice... That, that might also be... That might also be Steve Bloom, I think, from the console. Motormaster. Only a fool stands against the king of the road. Technically, we've heard him because we played as him. Cyclonus. To a Decepticon victory. Who is definitely Liam O'Brien. I do not mistake that voice very often. It's like, does it sound like Gara from Naruto? It's Liam O'Brien. <laughs> uh, Breakdown's new voice, who I don't know who it is. All this attention is making me nervous. All this attention is making All this attention. What's everyone looking at? There we go. I don't know why Breakdown acts that way either, because he was. I think he was kind of a cocky little shit in uh, the first game. In the console game. I don't know. They might have changed up his character. And of course, Matt, Resident Mad Scientist Shockwave. Rational thought is the key to victory. All right. And by the way, I did actually find Onslaught, who was the hidden character in uh, the uh, previous area. Time to put my plans into action. That is not the voice I would expect from a character called Onslaught, by the way. Uh, so the guide I was using, which I should actually pull back up because I totally forgot, uh, was kind of sort of right. You do need a heavy character for that area. But as far as I could tell, you also need a light character for that area. Oh, God. Sorry, frame rate's dying while I'm opening up Google Chrome. Just bear with it. <laughs> it's like, you're doing something else. My process... I don't... Whatever. But yeah. Uh, so, like, the guide I was using, and I use guide very loosely, just said you need a heavy character. And even in his response, he was like, no, you just need a heavy character. I definitely needed a light character, too, to go underneath one of the areas and then ram through a wall to get it. Uh, thankfully, though, for the next one, we don't have a requirement of a character to get, so we're free to do what the hell we want. So, on that note, I hit the wrong button. I meant to go to mission select. Story. All right. Activating the umply uplink. Once within the planet, Megatron attempts to reestablish the power uplink to the Trypticon space station. No, because we did testing the experiment and reactivating the energy. Okay. I was like, did we do the same thing again? I don't, I don't know what. All right. Uh, let's play with Breakdown because he has... You'll notice he has all three icons. And that's because he got an upgrade that made his melee laser and solid. So that's fun. The Autobots better keep their optic sensors to themselves. And we'll take Onslaught, just cause. Field assignment? No problem. Yay. Ooh, well take Endurance, cause I just realized neither of these two have good Endurance. Alright, location, Geosynchronous Energon Bridge Causeway. Under normal circumstances, we wouldn't stand a chance against these defenses. But with the Dark Energon, we are stronger than ever. Soundwave. What is the status of our supply? Dark Energon stores are at 20%. Power cells of Cryptocon have been exhausted. Goody. Hold on, let me... There we go, I was just... Okay, just making sure that my audio was capturing. That'd be really awkward. I'll need every bit of it if we're going to succeed. I've outlined a course that skirts the worst of the threats, but we won't get a second chance. 
Why should we gamble everything on your word, Starscream? You if we don't manage to oh. activate the bridge, it will have all been for nothing, and we'll have lost the Dark Energon! If not for me, you wouldn't even know how to make it, you scrapyard reject! If you want to succeed, you will do as I say. Because unlike you, Barricade, I do not plan for failure. I simply walk down its glistening golden roads every single step I take! <laughs> Alright. We should be close. Reactivating the Energon Bridge is our primary objective. Then we can siphon Cybertron's energy to power Trypticon Station. Is there anything back here? A bottomless pit. Okay, good to know. Can't jump in those. Get ready for an onslaught. Ah, oh, I see what you did there. Oh, you have a big ass hammer. How fast does your thing fire? Not very fast. Okay. Actually. There we go. Oh fuck. Well, I'm not gonna like this stage. Now you're in for it. My success is guaranteed. Why is Onslaught so very like Oh my success is guaranteed? Like very, very kind of like I don't wanna say gay, but you know exactly what I mean. Anyone looks at me and they're done for. What does Onslaught transform into? Okay, big kind of truck looking thing. Makes sense, I guess. But we need car. There we go. Now you're in for it. I guess I could just run up to it and punch those. Can I jump this? Alright, I can. Cool. Barricade actually has some pretty fast shooting. Hello. I'm not getting that without a flyer, though. Unfortunate. Okay. I'm the last thing you'll ever see, Autobots. Whoa! Uh, there we go. Probably not too many more of those. Oh. Get ready for an onslaught. Go. Uh, the benefit of his uh thing being two typings, I can just swing and almost assuredly hit what I need to kill. Oh. Of course it's the one thing that isn't the type. I think there are a couple who can like turn their energy turn their guns into like dual weapons, but they are few and far between. Also, a real downside, I'll get into this later if you can if we get a level for either of these two. Which I imagine will probably get a level for onslaught by the end of this, maybe. Hang on a second, I'm gonna turn this down just a tad. There we go. Ooh, hello. Careful. The air in this room is superheated. Transform into vehicle form and move quickly through the room to avoid the hazards. This is also where regeneration would come into... Uh, Good time effect. Because I believe you... Oh, fuck. I didn't know that was a jump. You regenerate faster when you've transformed. Alright, I'll catch up to you in a second. Okay, cool. We're back. Alright. That went pretty well. Trying not to abuse, like, uh... 
save states and stuff unless I really have to. And that wasn't too hard to get back to that point. What's over here? Ah! The Ark! Uh-oh. There we go. Blow those up, because as I've discovered playing through the bonus missions for the extra characters, by the way, some of those were kind of difficult, and I almost don't kind of recommend it. Almost kind of. I, they're fun, but they're kind of balls to the wall difficult. <laughs> Running around in vehicle mode is like 80% the meta of this game, because you do all three typings of damage, and you regenerate faster in it. So yeah, the more you know. All right, restore power to the Energon Bridge. I wonder, can I jump over there? Oh no, defenders. That's just shield boys. They're not difficult. Basically, I just break their shield, then punch them. Uh-oh. Okay, I can't jump up on that. Okay, good to know. I'm gonna die though. Yeah. Kinda figured. Alright, well, good to know I can't get over there. Oh shit. That killed me. Okay, this is the one thing I hate about this game, though. Just being stuck in a cor- God damn it, Barricade's dead. Uh, better off just killing myself. Because past that, there's nothing I can do. Onslaught's just not strong enough. Alright, cool. Ugh. Oh, God damn it! Oh! Just kill myself. There's nothing I can do. Man. This is kind of the irony of this game, is like... Despite as much of a kind of like third-person shooter as it is, and it's focus on gunplay and whatnot, there's no real way to actually defend yourself well in this game. Like, oh, hello. Hang on a second. I mean, like, the tutorial brought up the fact that, like, you know, characters have shields, they can defend themselves. But guess what? None of the Decepticons have shields! So they can't defend themselves. I think actually maybe only two characters have shields. Now you're in for it. Okay, Onslaught did level up, cool. So we'll get to get to my other complaint. say this was going to be a challenge, and then I remembered I have a gun. Oh, never mind. This is going to be actually far away. Can I hit that switch from? Yeah, no, I'm gonna have to transform. Uh.
This is gonna be difficult. <laughs> There we go, cool. Awesome. There we go, gonna regenerate real quick. There we go, all right. Anyone looks at me and they're done for. I really wish transforming was just on a button. It's like, I get, have to incorporate DS gimmick, but, oh, God. It would just be so much more convenient if it was a button. Oh. Right, these things are... There we go. Let my energy and stuff come back before I get ready for this fight. All right. Also, it just kind of feels like sometimes, like, enemy projectiles track you way too well. Like, if you start, like, bobbing and weaving, they will start actually shooting where you're about to go. I don't know, maybe I just come off as bad as bad at video games or something, but I don't know. Just weird. Alright, so it wants me to obviously go inside, but we're not obviously gonna do that. I plan to win this. Anyone looks at me and they're done for. If there's a way to open that, or if that's just it. So that looks about it. I don't see any breakable walls or anything. Actually, I can just slide under here. Yay. The power has been routed into the Energon Bridge. Now, get to the bridge to manually connect it to the Trypticon station. Can do. I was going to say big drop, big drop. Breakdown has leveled up. Say no to taking the center, John. No golden disc on the other platforms, though. Well, there are two in here, so maybe it's in here somewhere. Or actually, it was probably in that giant room with, uh, like the hazard attacking everything. Maybe if I flew around as an as a flyer, I could see something. Hang on. I have apparently been selected to win a $100 gift card from something I don't fucking use. I'm sure it's not a scam. All right. Excellent. The Energon is flowing directly into Trypticon Station. It should provide us enough power to... What the? Did you really think we'd allow you to drain the life essence of Cybertron without a fight? Autobots, attack! Protect the Energon Suppressors! Oh, hello. Ugh. There we go. Get ready for an onslaught. Uh, 
Oh, thank you, God. Whew. Okay, good thing this isn't a timed mission. Hang on a second. I'm gonna regenerate energy real quick. See what I tell you? Regeneration just goes faster when you're in transform state. I don't know why, it just does. go and all right it's all the suppressors good job but the suppressors have already short-circuited our first signal you need to get into the main control room and activate the backup link goody hello housekeeping i won't let you destroy this planet for your own selfish needs for Cybertron! Oh, that hurt. A lot. There we go. Keep my distance. That's what I've learned fighting all the other fights. Okay, cool. All right, cool. I changed to something that's also that's actually my typing. Awesome. And like I said, boss battles are just twenty percent, are just eighty percent turning into a car, turning into a vehicle until you regenerate all your energy. I wish the lock-on was a bit better. I'm just gonna pelt him with these. I don't feel like actually trying to get in melee range with him. Melee never feels like a good option, if I'm gonna be real. Form. Health, he's just gonna continue to fire overhead like that. There we go, he's dead. You got beaten by a car, how does that feel? Hell yeah, a suck a dick. By the way, for anyone curious, as I've said before, uh, I can't remember if I've said it before, I am not going to be doing the bonus missions, because really all they are is just a sneak peek at the other side's campaign. It's just basically to entice you to play the other version. So, we're already going to be looking at the Autobot game after this. There's no point to actually look at those. Alright, so here's the thing I was going to talk about with, uh, with the level up system, and I really wish that they would... Fix, like, I, uh, not really fix, but I hate about it. So those orange squares denote power ups. Like for regeneration, I can't remember what breakdowns was, but for his strength, it's the thing that I added, like laser or solid whatever, to his melee weapon. There's no way to tell what their upgrade will be without actually getting it. That's really bad, especially if you only have so many points to play around with. There's no physical way to figure out what that ability is. Like here, I, oh, I can turn them around. That's cool. I didn't know I could do that. But yeah, but like here, I can't just scroll over to see what his endurance thing does or what his regeneration does. There's no way to find out, which is really dumb. Space bridge activated sound wave initiating link. Link established with Trypticon station. Initializing rejuvenation sequence with power cells. Operation overload. It's working! It's working! As I told you it would, Megatron! Power cells at 37%. Nothing will stand in our way! And stabilizing. What? 37%? That's impossible! What have you done, Starscream? Where is the power you promised me? 
we've only drained it of its auxiliary power. The Autobots have severed the bridge's connection to the core and encrypted the locks with the Omega Key. Without it, there is no way to re-establish the link. Soundwave, prepare a strike team. It seems Starscream was not up to the task after all. As you command, Megatron. Oh, man. Hey guys, thanks for watching this video. If you like this video, be sure to leave it a like. And if you want to see more of my future content, be sure to hit the subscribe button. And to stay up to date with all of the releases that come out daily, be sure to click that bell. And if you're feeling a little bit generous, why not check out my Patreon page? Link is down in the description. And as always, until the next video, hasta.